So this is my PRS S2 Vela electric guitar. And as you can see, it's the perfect color. And I absolutely love this guitar. It's fun to play. I'm not very good, but I have a blast. And one thing I've been wanting to do is be able to quickly pick it up and start playing through my amplification system without much of a hassle. The way I've been doing that up until now is with one of these wireless transmitters. They work really well. I'm really happy with it overall. Sometimes it cuts out, but you know, I'm just having fun. So it doesn't, there's nothing critical here. But the problem that I have is that it's this big bulky thing that sticks out and it's always getting in the way. So I want to do something better. And I Googled for like 30 seconds, anyone had ever built one of these units or some sort of wireless unit into their guitar and nothing came up. I think I'm the first one. I highly doubt that, but Google says so. I've already gone to the liberty of tearing it apart. I'll still use the receiver side as normal so I can plug it into whatever pedal or amplifier I want. As far as the guitar goes, I just want it to be clean. After ripping it out of the case is the actual unit. So I'm gonna wire this directly in and a little toggle switch here. We're gonna wire it right in there a power switch. It'll be super seamless. I'll be able to still plug it into a normal cable for when, if I'm recording or I want to make sure I have a perfectly clean signal without any cutouts. It's going to be awesome. I realized when I took the transmitter apart was that it only comes it's a 600 milliamp hour battery and what I realized is I could just get a larger cell so I'm gonna put in a 1500 milliamp hour battery and that'll allow me to have longer cycles between charge-ups another thing I'm excited about is that I'm actually switching out the jacks and I'm gonna use a TRS style jack connected to USB as a five volt power supply, and that will run through the guitar jack and allow it to charge back up without getting in the way of the audio signal. It's gonna be super cool. All right, time to get back into it. Thank you. 
Bueno. Got it almost back together. Just need to test. Where did my screwdriver go? Oh, there you are. Okay, so we've tested that it works. Power's on, pass a signal. I've got some new st strings to put on here shortly. The last thing I need to do is just to test my new charging cable. So this is special, and the jack that I replaced in the guitar has the tip, ring, and sleeve and I'm passing power on the ring and ground is on the sleeve. Ground is kind of, the sleeve is always ground. I can still pass signal on the tip, but plug it in through USB, five volt power to recharge the transmitter. Now it's just a matter of checking that I did it correctly and we'll be on our way to rocking out with the world's first fully built-in wireless guitar. I actually don't need to do anything other than keep an eye out. Plugging this in over here. All right, moment of truth. Power. Sweet. Put the strings back on and I got myself a wireless guitar. <laughs> 